How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. It's James Showers and today I'm bringing you a lunchtime special. I'm out here at 970 Denny Way building some apartment complexes. Maybe there's a condos. I have no idea. <laughs> They're pretty tiny units anyways. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's in my tool bag. So without any further ado, here they are. So what I'm rocking here, this is the Occidental Occidental leather bags and this is the big oxy set. I have the fasteners, fastener pouch, and I also have the tool pouch. And it comes with this two-in-one hammer holder. We'll start right here with the tool pouch. And what do I have over here? Um, I have some snips. Now these are some right angle snips and I take and I flip um, these two handles over because when you first get them, you end up cutting like this. But I like to cut like this. So I flip them around. That's me. And then what else do we got here? We've got ourselves a rasp right here. I've been throwing it in this little uh, this little pouch because uh, you know it gets dust everywhere and it fits in there just fine. I've been doing drywall out here on this job. Sometimes I do some steel stud framing. We've got a pair of earplugs in here, a pair of air plugs just in case I need them. And that's also where I like to put my phone. Is in this is in this pouch right here. And uh, let's see, what do we got? What else do we got in here? I got some pistachios because I was, you know, munching on those earlier. <laughs> you get hungry, hang in some board. Okay, I got myself a knife. Now this is a Stanley 199. This is a perfect drywaller's knife. Okay, and it's sitting inside this uh, Occidental tool shield that came with the, the bags. I also have this nice little torpedo level. And this is, I believe, a Savage. You know, because I'm savage. You gotta have one of these. Um, they do make one that you can push a button and it lights up, and, and those are cool, but I just didn't really wanna spend the extra money on it. So that one's been working just fine for me. Now this, this set of bags has got like a bunch of spots for nails and uh, screw bit holders and stuff. So I've got um, just a hex head right here for, you never know when you're gonna need a, I think this is three quarters. What does it say on here? I don't know if that's even, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's five sixteenths. Okay, five sixteenths. Because, uh, you know, you got to remove some hexes once in a while. I got a nice six inch shaft in here for when you need those. You need an extra extension. I've got a bunch of pencils that I've stolen out of some boxes. You know, you never know where you need some pencils. This is the one I'm actually using, and it's becoming a stub at the moment. Uh, I've got myself a Sharpie. You're going to need that. It works great for when you're uh, needing to write on some metal. And back here in this tool shield, I like to keep my Stanley Fat Max saber saw or shark saw or whatever, some kind of saw for the drywall. This right here is actually a uh, it's a shaft that goes into the collated guns, uh, the Hildy models. So um, we'll maybe talk about that in a minute. So yeah, that's what's going on here in my fastener pouch, and I really don't have nothing down in here. Um, sometimes I'll just put some extra junk in here. Oh look at that, another pencil. <laughs> Can't have too many of those. Now, what I got here for my axe is this is a Stanley Anti-Vibe. Now this is one of the best hammers you can get. I've seen, you know, the gold block ones that they sell and those are cheap and heavy and they just, they just don't do it for me. Um, there's another hammer, I think it's Stanley as well and, and it's like all orange right here and that one does pretty good. The only thing that'd make this hammer better is that if it wasn't a full round head and it had just the, the notch cut top, flat top here, so when you're uh, whacking at nails along the, the ceiling, it doesn't catch the ceiling. And now for this two-in-one uh, hammer holder, I've actually found a purpose for this. You're supposed to put some needle nose pliers in here, but this works great for my circle cutter. It's been sitting in there and I love it. So that's a new home for that. Now over here on this side, we've got the fastener pouch. i got myself a Stanley Fat Max and this is the magnetic one and I use this a lot when I'm doing steel stud framing but right now doing uh, drywall it's actually kind of a pain in the ass because it uh, when you send it down it always ends up getting stuck to the stud and you have to pull it out or a little a little screw gets uh, stuck to the end of it and you know it's kind of a kind of a pain in the ass but I'm still rocking it it works pretty good now I normally would have a chalk line in here but I lost it this is what happens on the job, but uh, what I do keep underneath the chalk line when it is in here is I have a pack of zip bits or roto zip 
um, router bits and I have two packs of knife blades because these are junk and I go through them so quick that I like to keep a couple of them on me. Now in this particular set of bags, let's just throw that to the ground real quick. Now in this particular set of bags here, um, it's only got two spots for uh, fasteners. Only got two spots for fasteners, and it also has another oxy shield here that I do not use. It has a couple spots here for some uh, pencils or bits or whatever that I really don't use. And on these jobs, we're using the collated screw gun, so I have strips of screws instead of just uh, uh, packs. You know, my, my bag's not full of loose screws, I just have these strips, um, single layer screws, which are inch and one eighth. And these ones are an inch and three uh, quarters for the for the double layer um, drywall. And then uh, in this little section, I have a uh, speed square that normally goes in there, but I lost it too on this job, so that kind of sucks. Um, in this back section, I'd normally keep a, a cat's paw and then an angle drill, but I'm not doing so much steel set framing out here on this job, so I uh, just kind of lighten the load. Um, Note, if I was doing steel stud framing, uh, I would be pulling the, uh, the rasp out and I'd, I'd put uh, about four to six clamps, small clamps in here. So that's what I got going on here for what's inside my actual tool bag. Now, yeah, that's basically it. I was gonna show you just my whole little setup, but yeah, that's, that's it. There's my little bags. I've got this uh, sheepskin liner in here that makes it a little bit more comfortable, even though it does get slightly warm. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's what's in my tool bags. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next video. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.